Alright guys, this is Jake from TZ Flies Longboarding and I'm going to be bringing you a review of the Earthwing Super Glider and I decided to do a review on this board because it's not very well known and I guess it should be. <coughs> so, this was my first board and I got it um, in like March and it's now late. May, yeah. Um, and so I've been riding it for a while now, but I generally like it. It's a pretty nice board, but one of its major defects, as you can see, this is chipping a lot right here, my kicktail. But aside from that, I like it, especially as a first board. It's got a big kicktail, except the problem is it doesn't have anything on the front. In fact, the trucks are extremely close to the nose of the board. It's actually, I think, a downhill board, but it, um, it can be used for all around. I like it for tricks and stuff. And my setup, I have Randall 180mm trucks. I hear my dog. I can hear him. Okay. And I like these trucks. They, um, they're pretty nice, but they don't turn very well, in my opinion. In fact, my wheels are coming up when I'm doing this. They don't turn very well at all. But, I guess I just need to loosen them. But, I've got my Tanty in coming soon. And I have 70mm AD, or no, 77A um, ABEC 11 zigzags, which are fairly nice wheels, except the fact that they're extremely soft can't get very much speed off of them. All the mine started to harden a little bit, which is nice. But, um, <clears throat> you obviously cannot slide with them at all. And they get scuffed up real easily. Like if you, uh, screw up on a shove it, it they won't slide on the ground. They'll just get stuck there and leave a nice black mark across it. But, um, <clears throat> uh, my bearings are like these really terrible, like, DBS AVEX 7 things. There's like, gonna get my iPod see. That's how big of a genius I am. I'm a little too lazy to edit. Not the greatest bearings in the world. But, um, you know, suit your needs for first board. And, it's not that high quality of a wood. I'm not sure what wood it actually is. But it, my friend is actually starting to separate. And, you know. But, I like it. And that's what matters. It's a first board, so. Alright, the specs are it's like 36 inches long, I think, which is 3 feet. Hey, Red, do you have a ruler in here? My iPod fell over again. It's in the office. Okay, well, never mind it. My brother's up above me. Can I No, no. Anyway. Okay. And I'm not sure how wide it is across. Probably around 8, 9 inches. Actually, it's kind of wide. Could be 10. But, um... Yeah, not the best board in the world. But, uh, oh, I guess this really doesn't matter that much, but I've got some Cairo 1 8 inch hard risers in here. I think it's to prevent some wheel bite, which is also helped prevented by these wheel wells in here. Pretty nice board, but, wow, this is, like, backwards. It's really dumb. Okay, but, um, my Tantian is supposed to come really really soon a few days can't wait for that but for now I've been, I'll ride this and I mean if you guys are looking for any beginner board this is a really nice one I got it for $210 off of daddy's board shop really great company that's where I ordered my 10TN from 
got some good prices and they've got all the right materials and free five to seven business day shipping no tax I guess I don't know if that's like a west coast thing or anything but uh yeah the shipping can take a while because of the fact that it's in Oregon and I live on the east coast but um all right thanks for watching oh yeah when I get my 10 TN I'm going to make a 10 TN video with um uh, com like a comparison between the Dervish and the Tantian. So, I guess you can check that out, that out if you want. And we're also releasing a new video real soon that uh, we've been working on for quite a long time. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys a flex test right now. This board has no flex at all, really. But, uh... I'm sorry I'm going to come up here screaming at me for doing that, but, um, yeah, it's not really going to have much flex considering it's downhill. Anyway, uh, see you guys later. Check out our videos. Wear your helmet.